Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and today I'm going to teach you how to gift wrap a book. Over here I have three different sizes, small, medium, and large, and there are some simple techniques to make gift wrapping a book much easier and much cleaner looking. So, I'm going to start off with the small book, alright? And the first thing you want to do is make sure you measure the paper and you want to be able to cover all four sides. This is still a side. You just want to roll out the paper and make sure all four sides are covered. Clearly it's going to be like this long because I'm going from one, two, three, and four. And the trick to gift wrapping is all about measuring paper. This could actually cut down the time that it takes to wrap in half. So. I'm going to roll this out and since all four sides this way is covered, now I want to measure this length. So I'm going to pull out, you want just a little bit more than the edge because later what you're going to do is fold this edge down to make a nice clean edge and say over here it's going to come a little bit above on that side. You want to do the same thing with the other side, so a little bit more, which is going to be right around there. And once you have that measured, you can tear. Alright, now what I was saying about that extra paper, as far as it's all about measurement, it's going to come up to here. We don't need all this paper, because this is just going to get in the way. So I'll see right here is where it starts to overlap and I'm just going to cut off a little bit more than that. So right around here is where I'm going to cut this line. I know that will be enough to cover all four. And I'm just going to take my scissors and make a nice straight cut. It doesn't even matter. I could cut it all ugly like this because what's going to happen is this is going to go under. So as you can see, no matter what, it'll still look clean. Right, now you want to make sure the lines are aligned on this paper. So you'll see there's that straight line, and in order to get it straight, you just want to align those. So now I'm going to take a piece of tape, tape one here, and tape one here. Okay, now we're going to work on the edges. So, right here, you want to just push in with your fingers and then create this crease, create this crease, create this crease. Turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. Push in, create this crease, create this crease, create this crease, create this crease. Now, this is the part where you make the edges. You're going to fold down on the side that has this flat and then you're going to fold up, but you'll see this side you can crease up and then push down. And then once you have this down, what I like to do is just create an edge over here by taking my fingers and kind of pinching across that edge once you come up. Once you pinch, you'll kind of create a crease that you can fold down. And folding that down, you can create a nice little edge right there. Alright? Alright, so once you create that edge, put a piece of tape right there. Put a piece of tape on the other edge, and then I like to put one in the middle if it's popping out. All right, I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Over here, I'm going to push up where the flap is, and then pull down, create that fold right there. And then push down here and over here using my fingers I'm kind of pinching to 
and create that edge over here. And that's going to make a little temporary fold that I'm just going to push down even further. Okay. And then that's going to create this nice clean edge. And take tape, put it here, put tape on the other side over here. I'm kind of tugging to make sure it's tight and put another piece of tape right here. Alright, so as you can see, that is my completed book. Looks pretty clean, I'm very happy with the results. And now I am going to wrap up the medium sized book. All right, so I'm back. I switched out my paper and my medium sized book now. And now for the measuring. Again, you wanna conserve as much paper as possible. So I'm gonna take the longest length and measure it this way. One, two, three, four. Yes, that's enough paper so I can measure it this way from the shortest side. And again, I'm gonna pull out enough so that it is going to come over the height of the present a little bit, maybe like a half a centimeter. And you wanna do the same thing on the other side. Come over until there's like half a centimeter over. And once you do that, you have enough paper, you can cut. And let's give it a nice cut. Now you want to place your book face down. This is face up, so this is the bottom of the book. If there's a pattern that's upright, I like to match it, so this is the upright pattern, and the book's going to be upright as well. Now I'm just going to bring this down, the top part, just make sure it's centered right here. Bring this down and bring this up. Again, we have too much paper over here. This is just going to get in the way. So where this edge is right here, you know paper is coming over here. So you can just take your scissors and cut off all this extra slack. And that part, since it's not a perfectly straight line, I'm going to tuck it under. Right. Now you just want to try to make it as straight as possible as far as this edge is straight. And then where the book meets the paper right here, you just want to put a piece of tape and do the same thing on the other side. Alright, now we're ready to fold the edges. So right here, you want to take your finger push it in, push it in, make sure I'm focused, create this edge, create this edge, create this edge, create this edge, flip it around, do the same thing, push it in, create this edge, create this edge, create this edge, okay, and now I'm ready to push down and pull up and you want to fold it down hard and then you want to push this down while you're pulling so I'm pushing down as much as I can and then I'm going to create this crease right here on this edge by pinching all right, now I'm gonna completely fold it down after I made that little helpful pinch fold. And then now I'm gonna pull up, creating that nice crease that's perfectly aligned with that edge. All right, now I'm gonna take a piece of tape, put that down there. Same thing over here, push that down, and in the middle, as it sticks out, put that down. Alright, now I'm going to do the other side, same exact thing, push up, 
hold down. All right, you kind of want to push and pull and pull down really hard and create that edge. All right. Once that edge is created, you can further that fold completely like that. Fold it down. Tape over here, pull. Tape over here, pull. And another piece of tape in the center, pull. All right, so there you have another book wrapped. Again, the book is under here, face up. So there's two. Now I'm gonna zoom out and get my third book right here, which is larger. Okay, so right here I have my third book. And what you'll notice is that this book is a lot thinner than the other two books, meaning it's flat. So the technique I'm gonna use for this book is gonna be a little different. If you have anything that's thin, whether it be small, medium, or large, just make sure you wanna keep in mind that this is the technique you're gonna use. Otherwise, you can use the technique that you've seen me use in the other videos. So, again, I'm gonna start off with my measurements. And you wanna cover all four sides, so I know I can measure it this way. Now, as far as the pulling goes, since it's thin, I want to pull more than just over. I'm just going to pull maybe like an inch over on each side and you'll see why that's important later on. So that should be enough. Tear it off. Again, put the book face down in the center and then bring up one side. I'm going to bring it up over like a close way to the halfway point and then bring this up and you know that it's going to be a lot of paper that you don't need so I'm just going to cut off this slack right here. Alright, once you do that, tuck the crooked side under, straighten it out and then put tape right near the edge and then put tape right near the edge on the other side. Alright, so this is where it's a little different from the previous books, being that it's thin. Now what you're going to do is push down on the side with the flap and tuck it in underneath. So you can see it's going under, all right? And once you do that, you can create a crease over here and create a crease over here, all right? And then push down and that's gonna create a crease down underneath here. Then you wanna do the same thing on the other side. Again, you're going to push down and tuck this part right here down place it flat push down create a crease over here create a crease over here all right so once that crease has been created you can fold this down now if you don't like the natural tear, you can just fold it in like that and then fold it down. If you still prefer it to be more perfect and you want it aligned with the edge, you can fold it again just like that and then fold it down. So it all depends on your level of perfectionism. Now you wanna use a piece of tape. I find with the thinner books, you're gonna end up using a lot more tape just because if I was to just put one piece of tape here and one piece of tape here and one piece of tape here, 
this part in between will bulge out. So on thinner books, I like to use tape all the way down the line, almost like stitching. All right, now for the other side, create this crease, fold in, just push down. You know, it'll naturally create a bend. Then pull this side down. If you're not happy with that, just fold it halfway up here. Create that crease. If you're not happy with the way this comes down, halfway down again. Create the crease. And then once I'm content with that, so I can start taping away. Alright, and this method applies to a magazine as well. So even if it's not a hard stock book like this, you can do the same method. Usually with the magazine though, I'll just have it come fold down because it's harder if it doesn't have a hard edge. So again, over here, it kind of looks like it's sticking out, so I'm just going to put a piece of tape here as well. And that would be my final wrap for a thin, larger book. Alright, so those are my small, medium, and large books. And I think they came out great. Medium one right here. It had rounded corners on the book, so this is why this kind of looks sloppy. But other than that, I think this is as good as it's going to get. This is Rob from Justin's Toys. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Thanks for watching. Bye!